Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the scary poorhouse. That's right. It's that time of year, and it's the time of year where we make drinks that are frightening. I know, my drinks are always frightening. However, this time, it's intended to be that. Before we move on to the coolness of the show, though, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future scary adventures of your old pal, poor man. Hey, gang. Great to be back with you. Uh, we're going to, so uh, I think tomorrow is the, the big night, uh, the big bewitching night. And what would a big bewitching night be without a themed Halloween cocktail? Your old pal's got gotcha. you. All right. So this one, what is this called? Um, I'll have to name it later. I got the idea from the Chunky Chef. So Chunky Chef, here's to you. Thank you very much. I forget what you call it. So we're just going to call it the Poor Witch's Brew. I'm going to rename it because I added a different ingredient, which is what all bartenders do. You, somebody creates a cocktail and you change out the ingredients, you rename it. All right. Or you name it the same thing. I have even gone, and look at that. Uh, we have some scariness actually on the glass. Put it there myself. That's my artwork. So without further ado, Let's get into the mix, all right? So, we are gonna do my old pal rum. Spiced rum, you know it, I love it, and you probably do too. And you know the rule. We're gonna do two ounces. So this is literally the bare minimum that I would put in any cocktail. But, drink enough of these, I guarantee you, it'll work for you. Two ounces of spiced rum, 92 proof. Now, we're gonna do, we've got a little orchard, believe it or not, here in Vegas, we actually have a little apple orchard not too far from here, and every year they make apple donuts and apple cider, and we always go, and we always take part in the festivities. We're gonna put four ounces of this fresh apple cider right here in the mix. Now, our good friend, the Chunky Chef, she used pomegranate juice. You can use that too, or because it's a Halloween themed cocktail, what would go better than Italian blood orange soda that I got right down the road at Trader Joe's? Uh, who doesn't love Trader Joe's? So we're gonna put an ounce and a half of that. We put four ounces of, uh, I don't think I told you, but we put four ounces of the fresh apple cider in there. We're gonna do about an ounce and a half of the blood orange, blood, uh. and last, uh, well actually it's really not last, but we're getting close to the end. The recipe also calls for grenadine, but you know me, I don't use generally grenadine. I'll use, right now I'm using Tarani raspberry flavored syrup. I prefer flavored syrups over just colored, colored sugar water, and so there you go. Instead of the grenadine, Mmm, oh, I love the blood, mmm. But, we're not through yet. Oh, heck no. So, the crowning touch, we have gold dust, okay? And this gold dust, I got it from Amazon, and it's edible, and all you do is you sprinkle a little of this magic golden dust in there, okay? Just like this. Can you see it going in there? Don't want to use too much, but you don't want to use too little either. Eyeball it, make them a few times. I've already loaded this shaker with ice, and you know this because you know what a consummate professional your pal poor man is, and now we just give it a good shake. And like all drinks, this one's going to be made, uh, I should say, not like all drinks, but this one's going to be straight up. So any straight up drinks you make, you want to make sure that your drink is good and shaken. You want to get the mixture in there. A lot of times the, uh, the extra uh, water will open up the flavors, but it also chills it, seeing as how there is no ice in the glass. All right? So, give it a good shake until your hand hurts. And it's not hurting because of the shaking. It's kind of cold. And there we go. Got a strainer somewhere. 
Oh, look at this. Always be prepared, folks. Look at that. So, I forget what the name of this thing is, but if you look on the title, you'll see, I will have titled this, but check this out. It's beautiful. Look at the, look at the gold swirls in there. Uh huh? Is that gorgeous? And the crowning touch. I carved this masterpiece myself. So, look at that. This is the unknown Halloween drink that I can't remember the name of, that if you look down at the title, uh, I'll remember it and I'll put it on the title later on. So, happy Halloween to you. Let me just make sure that it works for you. Mmm, look at that. It's got some gold swirls in there. Got your blood orange. And as usual, it came out great. So, kids, to get the recipe, you've been here, you've done this, you go to poormanmike.com and right over there, hit that button, you'll instantly become a poor minion, giving you a head of the line speed pass for each and every new poor man adventure plus all the other cool stuff that you've come to know and love. So, till next time, pour well, pour often, tell them your pal poor man sent you. We'll see you around.